guys, how you doing today? I wanted to show you this beautiful little plant. You see how pretty she is? This is a Deschidia watermelon. You can see all her long tendrils. Now I got this plant um, uh, about the beginning of summer, this last summer. And it was a tiny little plant. Um, I don't remember exactly how long or how big it was, but it's grown quite a bit for me. You can see all the newer leaves on the bottom of this, and then plus all those. And I love this plant. I like I love the Deschidias because they are they're very much like a Hoya as far as how you grow them. They're very easy to take care of. If you love Hoyas and you have Hoyas in your collection, you know how easy they are to take care of. Let them dry down, give them some water, and they like bright light. So they're just like a Hoya. Uh, you just get, you get a little, there's a lot of different Deschidias out there, and you just get a little bit more uh, in some of them you know the color I mean you can see you can see how pretty this one is you can see why they call it watermelon because it does look like a little watermelon between the color of the leaves and then the shape like a little ovalis shape of the leaves it's super easy um, I want to repot her today I got a little terracotta pot that I want to switch her over into. Um, when I first got her, she didn't really have a very good root system. So I kept her in plastic so it was a little bit easier for me to take care of and keep an eye on because I wanted her roots to, you know, grow out. So, and you want to pot them the same way. Um, you want a light, airy soil mixture, something that, <clears throat> you know, gives the roots a lot of aeration, just like any other plant. So, I've got my soil mixed up. I've got just any old potting soil. I don't buy anything specific. And I just add a lot of perlite to it, which actually I think I am going to grab just a little more perlite because I like to add extra perlite into my Hoyas, um, my Deschidias, my Philodendrons. I don't use anything else like bark or anything like that. So, because I try to keep, I try to keep my costs down for growing plants. Um, and perlite, as long as you're putting enough perlite in, uh, and perlite's pretty cheap. You can find huge bags of it, either at stores or online, and it's cheap. And um, I prefer to use more perlite than sticking a bunch of bark, um, you know, into my plants, cost-wise. So let me get some more perlite here. Okay, I grabbed some more perlite. I'm just going to add a little more perlite to the bottom of this. But these, these will grow good. I'm going to put my tag in here. Set it Every time I set it off to the side, I forget it. And then like three days later, I'm like, oh, I forgot my tag. So I watered her. I prefer to, I like to water my plants right before I pot them up. You know, like a day or two ahead of time. Because that way they're nice and hydrated. They don't shock so well. Or so well. So much from repotting. And any plant is pretty much like that. And even a plant that you're going to propagate. Make sure you water it really good before you repot it or propagate it. Because they... They won't go through so much stress. So I'm just going to loosen this up. I can see I had a lot of, when I potted her, I had a lot of cocoa, cocoa choir peat in her pot. 
Because like I said, I was trying to get her roots to... Let me take a look at her roots. You see her roots all right here? She's got a nice little root system now. So I'm just going to pop her down in here. Try to get her over here in the middle. Sometimes I am so off with my middle. And then I look at a plant later and it's like, oh, it's all the way to the side. I mean, sometimes I do that on purpose, but, you know, if I'm trying to put a pole in. Okay, I need to get her up just a little bit higher. I don't want to bury and rot. Rot her out. I'm just going to add, sprinkle in more perlite around her. Add my, a little more soil. Now you can grow these uh, south window, a west window, under a grow light. Uh, in the summertime, she was out on my front porch in sort of a northeast, I mean, excuse me, a northwest area on my front porch. But when I brought her in, I put her, I have um, 5000K uh, LED cabinet lighting, under cabinet lighting that I use in my kitchen. And that's what I've been growing her under. And she really, really likes it. She's growing very well for me now, especially under that lighting, preferred to the north part of my porch. But, um,. And I feed mine, obviously, like I do everything else. I feed it with fish fertilizer. And they love it. That's not going to hold. Yeah, it is. And uh, I usually every time I water, I'm putting fish fertilizer in my water every time. I can't really tell you how much. It's about... I use my cap, I just fill my cap up and dump it into my one gallon bucket, or um, watering bucket, and <clears throat> it's probably about a teaspoon. So bright light, just like a Hoya, let her dry down just like a Hoya, and um, she does, they do very well, and I just water, when I water her, I need to add just a little bit more soil in here. But when I water her down, I just let the water go all the way through. I'm soak her down, just like you do most of your house plants. But I'll wait for the water to start coming out. And then I like to let mine, there it's coming out, it's bubbling, <laughs> must have some air pockets in there, I'm just going to lightly push it down. But now you can see all the water on the bottom of my drip tray. I'm going to let her sit on this. And I want that to soak just in case there's only any dry areas around in my soil. Because you'll get that a lot, especially with older plants that have been in the same soil um, for a really long time. You'll get a hard pocket in the middle where your roots are. And when you water, um, the water will go around the sides, but it won't actually get to the roots. So... Um, you know, the whole middle of your pot can be bone dry. Even with water coming out and you think, oh, I soaked my plant. Well, in most cases you don't. So if you water a plant and you see it's still having issues, um, you're going to either, one, repot it, break that root system up a little bit, and then I'll turn my plant back around here so y'all can see see it better. Break that root system, pull her out of her pot, break that root system up a little bit, either 
up pot her or put her back in the same pot with a little more fresh soil or at least some if your soil is still good and it doesn't stink you can reuse that soil I do it all the time because I'm, I'm not going to waste my soil as long as it's not stinky and smells horrible uh, you'll know what bad soil smells like um, it'll have soil naturally has like an earthy a very earthy smell to it and um, but when it's rancid you'll know it because it's very rottenly smelling I'm gonna add this put a little more soil in here but I'll let her sit in here and especially with the terracotta my pot the pot the terracotta pot itself will get wet looking it'll turn a darker uh, clay color than what it is right now but yeah just make sure if you're having an issue with your plants and you've watered them and you know you know it's not over watering issue or a bug issue or anything like that you might be surprised you either unpotter break up that root system and look at the big clump in the middle of the pot or you would have to do what I do with a lot of my plants I take them in I put them in my bathtub close the drain water them all down and just let them soak I do that with my spider plant right now because my big spider plant needs to be repotted so I soak her and I soak her for like an hour or two <laughs> sometimes longer because I forget she's in there and but it don't it don't hurt her um, because she's so massively grown into that pot right now that I have to feed her or uh, water her like that but um, anyways that's it um, I like went way off into another tangent not tangent but direction but um, the shitty is I have about three and they're very easy the ones that I have are very easy to take care of I take care of them just like I take care of my Hoyas and they're a super easy plant um, some of them can be a little pricey but if you, if you just get cuttings you know you don't have to buy a big full plant and spend 60 or 70 or whatever dollars on it you know get a cutting and you know pay cheaper go a little cheaper with it it's so much more rewarding to grow a plant from a cutting than it is spending that kind of money and then possibly killing it so all right guys i am going to let you go and i will talk to you later beautiful little plant i recommend it um she's very pretty so talk to you later bye peace